broke camp, headed out to the course. We're gonna play a couple rounds. that we're starting on hole six so it's a great way to warm up before we get to hole one so we're gonna get loose throw a couple pick some fun lines no stress take it easy and then once we hit hole number one we'll start keeping score and uh one shot only and then second round will most likely be fun creative shots have a little fun a little bit of hijinks but uh here we go let's do this so my strategy today is um Danny Lynn Hall's tip. Smooth as, what is it? Slow, smooth, smooth as far, and then follow through. And be present without being present. I'm feeling all right this morning. I could probably use a couple breakfast tacos. Today, I'm just gonna stay hydrated, try to keep my energy levels up with some snacks, try and throw some good discs. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Strategy today is to be intentional about every placement. I wanna be thoughtful about where I'm sending the disc, and am I picking the right disc for the job? What do you think about my great drive? Did you see that blue one up there? That's pretty yeah. sweet, right? Yeah, well, that's what happens when it bounces off of my disc. I can get that extra 10 yards. I don't know if I'm buying that, dude. I just crushed it. Some say you could drive a city bus through that gap. I'm calling BS. It's kind of ridiculous. Unless you got a forehand trick shot like these knuckleheads, you're struggling. So I'm gonna hyzer flip it. These guys are probably gonna throw some fancy Euro shot. Let me see how this one plays out. This could get bloody. Past that bush, past that tree, hooks around the, the side. So I'm just gonna kick it out with a gator forehand for an easy three. Kicked it out wide, threw my upshot a little short and wide, but able to make the 20 footer. A little tough in the very beginning, but uh, had a nice, uh, I got to string together the second and the putt, so that was good. No, Derek, I took a five. How do you feel about that birdie? Bang, bang. Dan and Ant. Dan and Ant. Respect your game, son. After the front nine, I'm one down. Got two birdies, one bogey. Missed four putts inside the circle. So just trying to wake up and make some good short putts. Two down. I uh, had uh, one bogey, right? One bogey, three birdies. Something mm -hmm. like that. Uh, and stuck to the game plan. Slow, smooth, smooth as far, and to follow through. The slow and smooth and smooth as far as, I'm also trying to apply that to my putts as well, so I think that's what's really helping me out. Respect your game. Plus three so far. I know where I made my mistakes, they're on the two Mando holes. Poor tee shots, and I had to pay the price. Took a five on one, took a four on another. So if I partition those out of my brain, I feel pretty good about my round so far. My placement's where I want to be, except for those uh, three bogeys I got. Put 
What's up on that back nine, dude? How you feeling? Uh, so far, um, not as well as I would have liked. I didn't uh, get a chance to string a couple of those uh, shots together. I had some uh, a bad, uh, a poor drive shot and resulted in a bogey. I actually had two bogeys so far, so I'm back to even. But we're a hole 15, we got plenty, uh, a couple more holes, so we'll see what we can do. I'm at even uh, after 14 holes. Um, not feeling great off the tee, but the big story still remains four missed putts inside the circle. So I'm gonna just try and convert no matter what. And uh, hopefully I can get a couple under by the end of the round. What's your status on the back nine? Legendary. But on top of that, I did get a birdie. And then I took another bogey just now, so it put me back to three over again, which is a bummer. And there was a mando in the hole. Got in my dome, like those other two mando holes. I'm noticing a little bit of a trend here. You know what I'm saying? So every course has got a top of the world hole. Here at Lake Casitas, this feels like the top of the world because you are exposed on this tee pad. Usually the wind this time of day whips off the lake. Check it out. Choose wrong, it's gonna be a lot of tears looking for that disc, taking that double bogey, son. On hole 16, I'm throwing the Discmania Evolution Method. It's a stable mid-range. Here I'm just trying to throw downhill with the level of the ground, throw something stable because with the wind up here, your disc can easily turn. The MD3 or the Firebird. Still haven't decided, I'll figure that out when I uh, get on the tee pad. the disc that I was pretty happy having was the uh, Firebird. I think this was a good disc for me today. Versatile, being able to use it forehand and backhand. Got me out of, got me some good uh, shots and got me out of trouble. So that was a, that was a good disc. So the disc I used the most today in terms of getting me out of trouble was the mortar, the recon mortar, the big German edition by Heiserbaum. I don't know anything about Heiser Bomb, and uh, I was surprised that this was the disc that worked out for me today. I was going through the recap, the wrap up in my bag, and I was like, oh, maybe it's a driver, maybe it's a fairway driver. Nope, up shots. Up shots, working the flex with the wind out here. Needed something predictable, it was windy. And uh, it was the Mortar 1.5. Probably the S-Line P3X, and also maybe the Method. Uh, there's a lot of shots out here in this layout that require either a straight shot less than 300 or something with a little fade in the wind, especially top of the world. So these two are the, mo the ones that I relied on the most. We're about to start the back nine again. Where to put our round. Hole 10 right here. It's pretty much a downhill jump putt of doom. Pretty hectic. Derek's talking a lot of mad smack like he's just gonna drill it. And we'll see what he's got. Let's see. Tiger Warrior, Guardian Lion, now Sensei. <clears throat> just a three speed putter, understable. You're probably as suspicious as I am. I'm calling BS on that. What do you got, Marky? Uh, throwing my Vibram, the Ridge. Real Chavez locals, what y'all know about that, son? I didn't think that those were legal, Vibram. I mean, my shoes are pretty dope, but not, I mean... They're not. Call the police, bro. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. <laughs> the eye, on the other hand, getting people's heads because they get envious. That's what's going to happen right there. You know what happened last time you do that. Parked it. I parked it last time, son.
when it was all said and done, none of us had good drives, good jump putts from the tee pad. But we parred out, but it's really steep down there. Super short shot, Mando right here. And it's a really tight fairway. It's short, but it's tight. Not a lot of room to go out here. So you gotta keep it low and gentle. That was Derek's, that was a great line, working that fairway, keeping it low. Was it your putting putter? It was. Turns out that was the best option and also not throwing a standstill. To the right more. I threw a putting putter and I did the standstill because I'm a hero. That's Derek's in blue. I'm calling BS. I think he had a foot fall off the tee pad. So you know what they say, sixth time is the charm. So we'll see if uh, Derek Daddy Yankee Monteverde can, can drain this. That's how they do it in New York. What do you guys think about uh, your shots? I mean, I'm happy with it. Part you're, of it. You're what? I'm happy with it. It's, for close, that? it's closer than yours for sure. Yeah, CTP. That's fission technology. That's fission technology up there, dude. I think you're out. Uh, gotta throw it straighter. It's, it's uh, stable to understable putter, so it just rode a little right on me with the wind. What'd you think, dude? Uh, it was all right. I uh, wanted to push it, uh, give it a little bit more mustard, but it came short, similar to my shot last uh, earlier this round. We're closer to Santa Barbara than we are Los Angeles. However, it's a pretty quick drive from Los Angeles, to be honest. And even people down in Orange County, near where I live, easy to get up here for a little. Uh, one day, all day play, you can get a couple rounds in and you can camp right next to the course. That's the hookup. So here's the deal. If you're gonna camp here, you're gonna wanna choose either the Indian campground or the Mallard campground. <laughs> 